Good morning everyone. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. I have just spent the morning having the most wholesome morning. I've just been sitting outside doing my emails in the garden, soaking up the last of the summer sunshine. I'm enjoying it so, so much. But I've just come inside and closed the doors because there's actually someone playing quite loud music outside. Um, and I wanted to come in and say good morning because there are lots of updates that I feel like we need to go through. Lots of stuff happening in the house and in the garden and a few interior bits so I thought I would show you what's been going on what has been happening first thing a very exciting update we have finally finally tackled the wisteria I'll put a little photo here of what it looked like before I think I only quickly just took a um snap before I managed to um you know sort it all out I forgot to get like a proper video but this is what it looked like before it was so unruly it was so wild like it had grown like crazy I think it's because because we'd like resurfaced the grass and everything we'd been watering the grass I think it's the first time the wisteria had ever been watered um so it just grew like crazy this year it was sprouting from every orifice and just sprouting in the complete wrong direction I don't know if wisteria normally grows towards the sun but that's certainly what ours was doing it was coming towards the sun and it was loving life and um it's a difficult one because we needed like a st no, there was two things that we needed basically for the wisteria number one we needed a step ladder so we had to go and borrow that from some family friends number two we had to wait for the pigeon that, that was in our wisteria we had a pigeon make a nest there and had a few babies um so we had to wait for the pigeon to vacate the nest basically before that we could um do anything so we didn't want to scare it off we had to wait for the babies to grow up and fly off so we finally finally managed to put the wisteria in its place to fix it we chopped some of it back i will put a little clip of what it looks like now because it looks so much better than it did before so we basically strung up most of the wisteria i got some like garden string spent the entire day either stringing it up cutting bits off that were just not going to survive on wouldn't like bend the way that we wanted to they were just too um like rigid in the way that they were going and we've also fed the wisteria through the pergola at the top so that it really is starting to like climb over rather than climbing towards the house and like just climbing in thin air um it literally got to a point where when we came back from holiday one little branch had like wrapped itself around the washing line one branch had actually started wrapping itself around the garden furniture like it wrapped itself around a chair so i was like this just needs to happen so we spent the entire day yesterday basically just stringing up the wisteria and getting it to this point so i'm so so happy with how it's looking now i honestly cannot tell you how much it used to upset me every time we would sit out in the garden i just stare at the wisteria like oh it just upsets me so so much but we couldn't do it until we had the all clear that the birds had gone and we've now gotten rid of the nest so that they won't be making another nest there. Because number one, it caused a lot of mess and a lot of you guys have told me that it would cause a lot of mess. And number two, it is not very secure. Like it's very windy up there and it's not like as secure as like a proper tree would be. Um, so we don't want to encourage birds to come back there. So um, yeah, it's looking so much better now, which makes me really, really happy. And speaking of garden updates, actually, there's a few other things I need to show you. Number one being my new basket. I picked this up from Amazon and this is basically housing all of our garden pillows now. I was really struggling with finding somewhere to store them. I was literally just chucking them back behind the kitchen table, which is obviously not ideal. Um, but I bought this off Amazon and it is huge absolutely huge that was the thing I struggled with I've tried to find some in like home sense I tried lots of different places but I couldn't find one that was big enough and I finally found one off Amazon and it's so fab so we've got like all the pillows and stuff that we use for our garden furniture I've been moving things about a lot um so it's in, like in the shade when I want it to be in the sun when I want it to be so what I really love about our garden furniture is just so how easy it is to move about but look at how good the wisteria is looking oh it makes me so happy and then the other update is over here. As you can see, it's gone. It's completely clear here now. So we used to have like a TV stand in front of this radiator and it was just so busy and so messy and not a vibe. So we finally gotten rid of that. I'm now on the hunt for the perfect radiator cover to cover this because I just want something so that it's not so like, there's a radiator here. Um, but it's a much nicer viewing experience now to be able to watch TV now that there's not so much clutter here. So that makes me really, really happy. That was literally one of those jobs where, you know, it actually takes like five minutes to do but 
it's just one of those jobs where you keep being like, we need to do that, we need to do that. I feel like I really put interiors on a hold throughout summer and I really didn't focus on updating anything new or like adding any new pieces in because I was just focusing on like travel and going away. And even though I am still obviously going away, I'm wanting to kind of reignite my love for interiors and reignite the passion for carrying on with the house. I feel like I put a, put a bit of a pause on the new house and we're gonna start carrying on with some interior things, some updates. I really wanna finish like the bedroom. I feel like that's definitely not a point where I want it to be. And the main one is the snug at the front of the house. But speaking of interiors, I do actually have some new in bits to show you. So let's head upstairs and I can show you the new in pieces, the things that I've been picking up because I am obsessed. So I have been doing a little bit of shopping. <laughs> and I had a look on H&M Home the other day. You guys know how much I adore H&M Home. I just absolutely love their pieces. And I saw some really cute things that I thought would really fare me well for like the end of summer, going into autumn from their home section. Ugh. Why are these boys so difficult to get off? Um, so I thought I would show you what I have been picking up. I feel like this box is deceptively big. There's not actually that much stuff in here, but my goodness. This is probably the most unglamorous unboxing you have ever seen. But H&M Homes, the first item, oh my goodness, I'm in love, is this. It's this really cool, like, rattan like ceramic kind of, well it's not ceramic, it's rattan, but it's like this huge bowl vase thing. How cool is this? And you guys know how much I adore rattan. You know how much I love like really lovely natural fibers, especially in this room here in my office. I just think they're so, so perfect for this room. And I just thought this was so cool. It's so much more affordable as well. That's one thing I really love about H&M Home. I feel like it's so affordable for what it is. I have so many H&M Home pieces in my room. I've got, this is one of my favorite purchases I ever made, my little shell vase. It's so gorgeous. So many of you guys still shop it to this day because they brought it back quite a few times. My half head vase I absolutely adore. My vase and my other flowers, like so many vases and they always look so much more expensive than they are. So I picked this up and I thought this was a really great addition. Okay, I then picked up a really gorgeous tablecloth. Now I've been wanting to add some new tablecloths into my collection. I really love using them for like the outdoor table, but also for when we're hosting the indoor table as well. And I really loved this one. It's absolutely huge. It's this really gorgeous like brown and white stripe, which I thought was so, so lovely. And I feel like paired with just like really easy natural rattan, um, you know, like placemats and things like that. I feel like this is just so easy to style. I feel like gingham is huge at the moment with regards to um, like tableware and table styling and linens and things like that. But for me, I think this is gonna last me a bit longer. This like brown and white stripe, I think is a little bit more like evergreen in terms of its style. Like I don't think it's gonna go out of style very easily. And also I think this will fare me really well going into autumn. Whereas gingham, I feel like it's a bit more of a summery print and a summery fabric. So I also picked up that. And then the last thing that I picked up, which I'm so excited about, is a new robe. Although looking at it, it's a bit thicker than I was expecting. So this might be the kind of thing that I don't wear until the weather starts to turn. But I saw this, and this to me was just so like Fendi-esque, like very designer. Looked so much more expensive than it actually is. Oh my goodness, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just really gorgeous. Goodness, falling back on me, but it's a really gorgeous like terry cloth kind of like almost toweling material it's a really lovely one for when you get out of the shower when you're like fake tanning when you get up in the morning you just want to like have your morning coffee before you get dressed it's absolutely huge what size did i pick up i picked it up in a large why on earth did i pick it up in large i'm not entirely sure maybe i need to return it and get i'm thinking even a small piece this is so so big but i just thought it was a really lovely one to add into my collection it's very heavy it feels really high quality it looks so much more expensive than it is because of the piping because of the fabric because of the material so i absolutely love that so a good old h&m home loot there for you a few pieces that i have been picking up and i want to start getting styling Oh my goodness, before I do anything else actually though, I need to talk about this dress. This is literally one of my favorite dresses gonna be down here, um, from H&M and I've had this for so long and it wasn't until I saw a video the other day on Instagram and it's changed my life. So if you like these kinds of dresses where it's like a little bow and you like tie it up, but you're worried about not being able to wear a bra with it or um, you know, you're worried that like you need to wear nipple covers or you're not comfortable not wearing a bra, 
I have a bra on with this and this has literally changed my life. Let me try and undo it a little bit. So basically, you twist it around your bra. So you twist one bit through at the top, one bit through at the bottom, and then, let me get this right, and then you tie the bow. And your bra is twisted in the knot. Well, not twisted, but it's like caught up in the knot. So it not only means that you can wear a bra with these, but also it means that this is completely secure. Like it's not gonna move around as much. You're not gonna worry about like falling out or anything like that. And I literally cannot believe it's taken me this long. I've worn these kinds of dresses and these tops for so long now and it's just changed my life. It has literally changed my life. So yeah, wants to share that with you guys. If you like these kinds of dresses, but you're not a big fan of not wearing a bra, the bra trick amazing okay so i'm not gonna lie the vase is a lot bigger than i was expecting it to be um i was planning on keeping it upstairs but it doesn't fit on either of my little console tables upstairs so i've put it down here and what do we think i kind of like it i think it's kind of cool i might need to give these shelves a little reshuffle um but i do think it's kind of cool and i could put things in it you could actually use this for a fruit bowl if you wanted to but just be warned it's bigger than it looks online i'm honestly the worst when it comes to measuring things on h&m home i never measure but I do kind of like it and it goes really well with a lot of like the like natural tones that we've got in this room but oh my goodness the tablecloth I'm just in love with look how cute that looks the brown and white stripes are just absolutely adorable they go so so well on this table and despite the fact that this isn't actually designed for a round table it fits really really nicely so yeah really happy with the tablecloth this i'm just undecided about so i'm gonna need your help what do you think do i keep or do i return mm, mm, mm. nothing better than the first iced coffee of the morning but hello everyone it is the next day now i left you hanging a little bit yesterday after showing you the new pieces but I've had some new dresses arrive and some new transitional outfits to take us into the next month. I feel like the weather's been a little bit up and down recently. It's been like warm, obviously we had the heat wave and then it kind of dropped a little bit, but it's still staying like the mid 20s. So it's still very warm, very much like dress weather. I'm wearing my favorite phase eight dress. I love this like little linen number. So I feel like it's a bit difficult to shop at the moment and I have been doing a little bit of shopping of a few pieces that I feel like are going to serve really well for now, for transitioning, for the colder months. So I thought I would show you what I've picked up. Okay, so I'm going to start with a few pieces from New Look and if this doesn't scream autumn, I don't know what does. I'm obsessed with this colour. I feel like the colours I'm going to be adding into my wardrobe are definitely going to start becoming a lot more autumnal, a lot more transitional. We're going to see a lot more greens and rusts and like darker colours. I always love adding these kinds of tones into my wardrobe in autumn, winter, like especially at browns and rusts and oranges are just so, so stunning. I feel like they really are so cliche, but there's a reason for it. There's always a reason why we love these colours. It's like florals for spring. It really is groundbreaking, but... I saw this dress and just fell in love with it. And I actually, I'm not planning on wearing it for my next trip, but I do have a trip at the start of September that I thought this would be perfect for. And I feel like the, the region I'm going to, the area I'm going to, this is just gonna work so well. Cause it's very much like a Indian summer kind of vibe. Like I'm not actually going to India, but that's like a phrase that we use here in the UK where it's like a late summer, like September summer, really late into the season, but still really lovely and warm. And I just thought this would be so, so gorgeous. I really love this very open neck. And you guys know I'm loving this kind of tie detail with this cutout. I'm not normally the biggest fan of cutouts, but I find a cutout just kind of here, this like top part of your ribs, it's very flattering. I feel like it's really, really lovely. It's got a cute little tie detail at the back. And another detail that I absolutely love is it's got this like tiered detail along the skirt which I always find really flattering as a shorter girl. I find the tiered detail just really helps to kind of like elongate the dress, make it look a little bit longer, make you look a little bit taller, which is always very, very flattering. So I thought this was a really gorgeous dress for like end of summer. When you're wanting to add those autumnal tones into your wardrobe, you're wanting to add those kind of like, you know, more seasonally appropriate colors, but it's still very much saying summer in the weather. This dress is just absolutely perfect. 
perfect. Oh, this is definitely an end of summer holiday dress, the perfect kind of dress if you're going away in September time. I know a lot of you have got trips planned over the next couple of weeks, and I feel like this is perfect for end of August, early September holidays, because it's very much a holiday dress. I love the fabric. It's got this really lovely, just very open detail here. I feel like maybe I need a longer necklace if I'm going to have such an open, like, chest area, but I love this cutout detail. I feel like it really elongates my torso. It makes me look a little bit taller than I am, which I am definitely not complaining about. Um, and I really love, again, as I've said about the tiered detail, always helps to just elongate your legs, make the dress look like it's a lot longer, make you look a lot taller. I love the fact that it's a mid axis it just skims the floor and you can have your little sandals poking out underneath. I always feel like that makes you look really tall as well. But yeah, I think this is just the perfect kind of dress. If you are going away over the next couple of weeks, you've got a end of summer holiday booked because the colour says autumn, but the fabric, the print and the style of the dress says summer. So I think like it's a really, really gorgeous one. Next, I picked up this absolutely adorable little tea dress. Now, if you watch my recent transitional outfits video, the one where I showed you so many dresses from it, the little Instagram brand that I discovered, you'll realize that this is very similar to those. And I really am loving this kind of style at the moment, the kind of green tones, the tea dress, the shirt dress, the collar. I feel like it's very easy to style. It's very classic, very timeless. It's the kind of thing that doesn't date. I feel like tea dresses and like shirt dresses just come into fashion every single summer and they're so so easy to style up I feel like they're the kind of thing that you can style up or style down like wear it with a cute little pair of white trainers a crossbody bag and you've got like a weekend outfit wear it with a cute pair of strappy heels and a little clutch and you've got something a little bit more like daytime elevator but I really really love that so when I saw this on new look I just fell in love it's a really gorgeous almost like it's kind of like a Dalmatian print, but like a really big Dalmatian print, which I really, really like. It's actually from their sustainable range, so it contains Iveco Visco fibres for a better future. I love that. That's really, really cute. Um, but it's actually a mini dress, which I thought would be quite cute. I feel like it's a great one. Again, when your heart's screaming autumn, but the weather's still saying summer, when it's still quite hot outside. I feel like here in the UK, we often are having like later and later summers in the sense of like, it's still really warm well into September. So I feel like this is perfect for that. And when the weather starts to get a little bit colder, add a cute little chunky cardigan over the top just to layer it up. Or one thing I always say when it comes to layering is you can always layer it from underneath. So add a vest underneath, add a thermal, and you've got a really great layered item there, but you still have the, sh the dress as the main kind of focus. So I thought that's another lovely one to add into my transitional wardrobe. This is such a cute little transitional dress. I love it so, so much. The pattern is just gorgeous. I love this like big oversized Dalmatian kind of print. And the style of the dress is just beautiful. I love these shirt dresses, so easy to wear. You can wear really comfy bras underneath. And as I said, you can layer them up. But the only thing I wish is that it's a little bit shorter, but I do understand that obviously it's not from the petite section. So we're always gonna end up with dresses that being a little bit too long, but I feel like for now with just like some slides, it is perfect. Add some trainers when the weather starts to change, for some closed toe shoes and you'll be a lot warmer. But yeah, such a cute little, really easy to style, really easy easy to wear dress. I then picked up this really cute shirt and if there's one thing you should know about me it's that I love layering with shirt. I feel like I have so many shirts in my wardrobe now and I really love using them as like layering pieces or even having them like done up and tucked into a pair of trousers. I feel like they're so classic and timeless and if there's something I'm really trying to make more of an effort to do it's to add those items into my wardrobe. Pieces that aren't going to date, pieces that are going to really stand the test of time. I'm going to get my cost per wear out of and I always find that just because you're buying from like a high streeted price point doesn't mean it can't last you years and years and years. I have so many dresses, so many shirts, so many pieces of my wardrobe that have lasted me for so long that are places from New Look that are from like other high street brands and I absolutely love that so when I saw this I thought this was a really cute one to add into my wardrobe it's got this really interesting pattern running down it it's kind of like geometric -y and I really really liked it it's got like a black background with the white and green pattern which I think is very very seasonally appropriate like the black just kind of makes it a bit more autumnal without being too autumnal I feel like the green really helps to keep it in the kind of summer period still keeps it quite fun quite light i like the material of this i'm not entirely sure what it's made out of but it's a really lovely light 
material and it's got a slight ever so slight balloon sleeve which i find very very flattery i found it very easy to just kind of like turn it up make it a little bit more casual or you can wear it with a full long sleeve if you want i feel like these are the kind of things that i get so much wear out of and when you have a few really classic key shirts in your wardrobe that's you done for like a good few years because they're going to last you so so long so i will link this down below because this is i think a great investment the kind of shirt that's going to last you for ages okay so i'm actually styling up the shirt a little bit differently for something a little bit more kind of autumnal and i kind of love it i've been saving a lot of autumn posts recently on instagram a lot of people have already been starting to do their kind of like autumn styling over on their feeds and i've been styling a lot of like wide leg trousers with like loose shirts like this and i kind of love it i feel like it's really cool it's obviously not the most flattering outfit in the sense of i've very like wide you know wide trousers wide shirt but it's just very easy very cool very chic so i really really like it but this shirt is honestly just so versatile the kind of thing that you can style up really easily now i always bring shirts with me whenever like literally no matter what the weather even in the heat wave i bring shirts with me because i always find air conditioning i need a shirt just to chuck over the dress chuck over my outfit so i'll bring them with me because they're easy to like shove in your bag whenever you don't need them and add as a layering piece when you do um but you can also wear it as like a full-on outfit in itself with something like this just a pair of like little black police trousers some slides i really really like it so yeah i'll link this down below i think it's really cute now this last new look dress I have a feeling I might be sending back because as it's arrived it doesn't quite look how I imagined it would in real life. It's a lot brighter. As you can see it's like a much more fluorescent green and the greens that I like are much more like earthy tones. My kind of sages, my pistachios, my like khakis. I really like a bit more of like an earthy green and this to me is a little bit bright but that being said I do love this little ditzy floral print that it's got running through it. I think it's really really cute and again lots of design details that I really like which is why I picked the dress up in the first place. It's got a really lovely square neckline which I always feel like helps open up your neck, open up your chest area, make you look a little bit taller. I love the sleeve detail and I love the sheared bodice so I thought this could be a really cute one for the end of summer but I'm gonna have to see what it looks like on let me know your thoughts should I keep it or should I return it okay and now that I've got the dress on I would love to know what the verdict is I'm not gonna lie I'm actually really sad because I love it on really really love it on I just really don't like the color it's just too fluorescent for me it's a bit too bright a bit too almost springtime I feel like this isn't a very transitional color I just wish it was more of like an earthy green such a shame but I really want to know your opinion do you think I should keep it do you think I should return it let me know and then next I have a few dresses that I wanted to show you from a brand called live unlimited who actually reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to receive a few of their dresses and I fell in love with the brand I feel like they've got some really stunning dresses which are designed for more of a mid to plus size range I think they start at a size 12 and they go up to a like much larger size range than like a lot of brands that I know so if you follow my content and you often struggle with dresses that maybe don't go up to your size hopefully you'll be able to find them on live unlimited so i'll link them down below so they have some really cute pieces the first one i just thought was absolutely gorgeous like a really classic easy to wear wrap but not actually wrap dress i do like wrap dresses but sometimes i do find with them that they can be a little bit easily fall outable is the kind of word that i'm looking for sometimes i feel a little bit vulnerable in them like if i'm walking i feel like i have to hold them whereas i really liked this because it was more of like a faux wrap so it has that kind of wrap design which i always find very flattering it's got a really cute little elasticated waistband which is going to cinch you in and give you a really lovely silhouette and then a really nice just like flowy midi maybe more of a midaxi skirt and i feel like this to me is like the perfect travel outfit i think i might actually wear this dress when i'm traveling it to my next location for my next holiday because I just think this is so easy to wear it's so comfy like it's really stretchy it's a really lovely fabric it's really breathable but I also feel like this is the kind of dress that you can style up in lots of different ways this could be a great office dress style up with some pumps your bag like your briefcase or whatever you carry your all your things in or you could style up with some sandals a cute little crossbody it's more of a weekend style I feel like there's lots of different things that you could do with this dress which is why I fell in love with it and why I feel like it's going to be a key piece in my transitional oh my goodness hello how tall do i look right now can we just appreciate the fact that this dress has basically added about six inches to my height i am in 
love. Now that I've got it on, I feel like it definitely looks like more of an evening dress. When you're away on holiday, I feel like this will be perfect to take away with me just for like evening meals when I want to be really comfy, we're going out for drinks, I want to be cool, but still look really chic. This is what I love about an all black dress and an all black outfit. I've just started with my black June slides, which is exactly the kind of thing that I wear in the evening when I'm away on holiday and you could wear like a little basket bag or you could wear like a little crossbody bag. I feel like there's so many options with it being all black. You can start it with a black bag or a colored bag. There's lots of different choices. So yeah, I definitely think you guys need to run, not walk to Live Unlimited because their dresses are just stunning. I am absolutely obsessed with this. Now, this one I definitely think is going to be much more of a holiday number. Maybe I'll keep this as my travel outfit because I feel like we're arriving kind of mid to late afternoon. So this might be quite nice that I can like literally head straight out the door once we arrive and do some exploring. But it's basically the same dress, but in this really, really gorgeous print, like the black and white print, I absolutely adore. I love a monochromatic print. If you're someone who's maybe a little bit adverse to color, I'd say this kind of monochromatic print is a great one to look into. because it's a really great way to add a bit of interest into your wardrobe, something a little bit different, but staying within your comfort zone. So I just fell in love with this. Again, it's got the really lovely sleeves, the lovely kind of faux wrap detail, the elasticated waistband, and what I really like about this as well it's got a really thick black band at the bottom which i feel like is very elongating it's similarly to the new look dress with that kind of tiered detail at the bottom it's a great way to elongate your body really pull the eye up and make you look a lot taller which i always love so i thought this was another gorgeous one to add into my wardrobe now this is what I really love about being the kind of person who buys it in another colour. You guys know what I'm like. If I like it, I'll just get it in another colour. Because this dress is totally different from the other one in terms of like the vibe. It's a lot more casual. It's a bit looser. It's not actually as tight, even though they're exactly the same size. It doesn't cinch you in as much around the waist, which maybe it's just because it's not all black and black is always so flattering. But I do absolutely love this still. Like this isn't me bashing it. I love this dress. I think it's such a perfect daytime dress when you're away on holiday. You know, when you're like exploring the markets, going around the towns, doing a bit of sightseeing. It's so comfy and stretchy. And I really love this black band at the bottom. I feel like it really helps to elevate the look, elongate your body and make you a lot taller. So yeah, real, real fan of these dresses. Live Unlimited, you have really impressed me. This is not sponsored in any way. They just sent me the dresses to try out and I have fallen in love with them. And then lastly, we have a very classic item that I'm adding into my wardrobe that I feel like everyone needs in their collection. That is a shirt dress, and particularly a black shirt dress. I don't know what it is, but I've definitely found a lot more success in my black shirt dresses than any other colour. I just find them really flattering, easy to wear, timeless. They can be styled up so many different ways, and I fell in love with this one, mainly because it's quite different to the others I have. It's not actually got... A proper collar this is more of like a granddad collar that it has here which i think makes it a bit more casual i feel like this is the perfect just like garden dress chilling dress weekend dress it doesn't actually come with any kind of detailing any belt any way of cinching it in so i think i will probably just add a similar belt to this just like a really comfy easy raffia one just to cinch in your waist and give you a really lovely silhouette but i just thought this was such a classic one to add into your wardrobe the kind of thing that again you can style up really easily to transition your wardrobe from summer into autumn i'll style it up now with some slides a cute little hat a little basket bag and the we when the weather starts to turn I feel like white trainers or closed toe shoes and then when it starts to get really cold boots and a chunky cardi over the top and it is a perfect autumnal dress so I thought this was another great one to add into my wardrobe one that I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. Well I think we can all agree that this has been a very very successful haul. Look at how cute this little shirt dress is. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's just so cash, so easy to wear. It's a lot lighter than the others, so I think this would make another great holiday dress, but also the kind of thing you can easily wear when you're back here in the UK. So I've just added the little raffia belt, but actually, if I should take off the belt and show you, I would not be against wearing this just as a smock dress, how it is. I think it's really cute. I'm definitely more of a smock dress girl now than I ever used to be. So easy, so simple, like the kind of thing that you can just throw on and go. I love those kinds of dresses. So I think we can all agree this has been a very successful haul. I will link all the Live Unlimited dresses as well as the other dresses down below in the description because I know you guys are going to want to shop these because these have been fab. I'm so excited about all this transitional styling. I feel like these have really helped me kind of decide what I want to be wearing now and what I can kind of like style up 
now compared to in a few weeks compared to in a few months so yeah absolutely in love so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what is new in at the moment. Some home pieces, some beauty and some fashion. I know that sometimes it can be really tricky to style up at this time of year and to like buy new pieces in your wardrobe if you're not really sure what to shop for. But hopefully I've been able to show you how you can kind of wear these pieces throughout the next few weeks and how you can transition your wardrobe from summer into autumn. Let me know if you want to see more kind of like summer to autumn styling. I can definitely do a bit more of that. I think I'm going to leave the video here, guys. I really hope you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.